Hey guys, welcome to another video and today's topic is very interesting actually. I'm going to talk about do you really need a protein isolate when you're shredding down? Because I hear this from so many people and you know, especially youngsters coming to me and they say, hey, I'm going to lean out and I'm, what I'm going to use and I've been needing is a protein isolate, which actually makes no sense to me in the way that how a protein isolate is going to help you get shredded. So let's talk about what is protein isolate. Protein isolate is a protein uh, derived from uh, whey. Uh, it's, it's a form of whey protein, which is the purest form because you have all the impurities removed. Uh, like concentrate would have a higher percentage of fat and lactose maybe. But the isolate is free of lactose usually uh, the sugar is going to be really less, the fat is going to be really less, but how much less? Like if you compare it with concentrate, a good quality concentrate protein would have like 2 grams, 3 grams of carbohydrates, maybe like uh, on top of that 1 or 2 grams of sugar, which is nothing actually in reality if you see in practical terms. So I don't see it as a big, uh, you know, big difference. You know so what I think isolate protein is superior to concentrate maybe yes when it comes to absorption time isolate protein would be absorbed in uh, absorbed really fast as compared to concentrate but when it comes to getting your protein you need something which is slow as well what I really mean by that is when you eat food and get your protein from food it doesn't absorb immediately, it takes certain hours to digest. Every protein has a different digestion time, right? So it's always when you mix protein, for instance, if you eat eggs, chicken, and milk, if you drink milk, it, you know, all three of them will have a different absorption time and each one of them will spike amino acid at their you know, uh, different time. So, you always have like a steady supply of amino acids in your bloodstream, which is essential for muscle growth, right? However, if you compare it to one shake of isolate, it's going to be absorbed in one hour, maybe and then excreted out, which is not absorbed. And then I see uh, some people mixing three scoops. Well, your body has a threshold. It's just going to absorb a little bit and the rest of it would either be excreted out or converted into uh, uh, glucose so you have to make sure if you eat you know, taking you want to get protein in your diet make sure you're getting it from food uh, like 70% or 80% rest of it from powder so let's talk about isolate powder and its use in shredding phase well there are a couple of factors that's gonna make you shred not an isolate protein powder for instance number one is your calorie deficit you you should be in calorie deficit. Second is avoiding processed foods, which can cause inflammation in your body. And number three is uh, your training, your strength training. And if you do cardio on top of that, you're gonna burn extra calories from that. So hence your body will utilize your you know, stored body fat for energy and hence you will get shredded not like an isolate protein powder is going to help you anyway the only thing i see isolate protein powder is going to help you absorb better nutrients or protein post training because it's fast absorbing protein powder so i think that's the only role isolate protein powder have rather than i just say you get your protein from your meals spread them out evenly throughout the day and then take your protein isolate in between your meals will be a great idea but post-training isolate is definitely superior than concentrate. But there is no harm if you're going to use a matrix protein, which is a blend of different proteins, or a protein concentrate. It's not going to make any big, massive difference in your shredding phase. So this is just a myth. And uh, until next time, I see you guys.